let's talk about this Blade reboot because it's weird because I had a strange feeling it was going to be some more mess that was going to come out of this. And unfortunately, here we are. So, um, Yon Demange, who is the second director to come on board for the Blade reboot, it's been revealed that he has dropped out of this film. So now they're looking for a new director. And I have an idea of who they might be having eyes on, and I'll break it on down when we, when, once we get through the story. So it says, Blade is once again, and shout out to the Hollywood Reporter for this story. It says, Blade is once again in search of a new talent behind the camera. Filmmaker Jan Demange has exited the long gestating project, the Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. The departure is described as amicable and happened some time ago. It is the latest in a number of creative challenges for the project, with Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige announced to fanfare at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019. And this is the crazy part. It has been five years since it since Mahershala was announced as our new Blade. We still don't have a damn movie. They've gone through so many rewrites, so many delays, two director changes. Like, what are y'all doing over there? Now it's just in, on borderline embarrassing because it's like, for the 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 comp corporation, the the company, the filmmaking company that always looked like they had their ish together the whole time, it's just looking like y'all don't know what y'all doing. Like what happened? Phase four, child, ever since it's like y'all came back from the damn Thanos snap, it's like Marvel's been a mess. Now, Blade was preparing to go into production in the fall of 2022 when director Bassam Tariq exited over creative differences. Then, sources say, Ali handpicked Lovecraft Country Helmer Demange to direct, but months later, it became one of the major features delayed by the writer's strike in May of 2023. As of yet, it never made it into production. Ali remains attached to star of the project, and the studio is not looking to rush the film. Well, this is probably why Mahershala also is now about to start filming the new Jurassic World movie with Scarlett Johansson because it was just announced that he was going to be a part of that. So he's going to go off and film that, which I think is smart. I feel like, you know what, release me from my contract. Like, I need something in the contract where it's like, I'm not sitting on my ass waiting for y'all to get this film up and running and I'm sitting here losing out on projects, having to pass on projects and stuff when I got bills to pay. And I'm sure that Mahershala is good right now because he's a two-time Oscar winner. He's been doing a lot of films, but five years is a long time to be sitting around waiting to play a, a beloved superhero. So they said that the release date is supposed to be November 7, 2025. Now, here's the thing. If y'all can't get this film start up and running by this fall, I feel like it's not coming out in November 7, 2025. It's going to get pushed again. I feel like that we ain't going to see this movie until 2026, which in my opinion is long. Like That's what? Almost seven years. So they said the Blade news also comes as Marvel recalibrates its output and expects to have more breathing room as it releases around two films a year, which is smart. Once every six months, y'all could do that. Or four months. No, six months. Stick with six months. Following pressures to ramp up film and TV content in the early 2020s. Now, Ali's Blade made a voice cameo, as y'all know, in a post credit scene for The Eternals, which I didn't think was a good movie which also featured Kit Harrington, who played Dane Whitman in the film. Ali is the second act of the top line of Blade film because, you know, Wesley Snipes is the most who brought the iconic character to life in the 2000s. Now, Blade debuted in the Tomb of Dracula number 10 and was created by writer Marv Wolfman and artist Gene Coleman as a half-vampire who hunts vampires to avenge the death of his mother, who was killed by a vampire, basically Deacon Frost. So, um, now, you already know, Deadpool Wolverine's the next film that's coming out on July 26th, and the writer of Fantastic Four is the latest person to come on board to direct this film. Because I could have sworn that I had um, the list of people who were supposed to be... Um, wait, hold on, let me check. Oh, so it says... I forgot to bring this up. So the other writers who were part of the... You know, who took a crack at the script, Michael Green, Stacey osei Kafour, Michael Starbury, Bo DeMeo, and Nick Pizzolato. Now, the most famous name to come out of this is Bo DeMeo, because y'all already know Bo DeMeo was a part of X-Men 97. And you know the whole controversy with that. So, he took a crack at the script, and apparently nothing worked out. 
So now, in regards to this whole story, you know, I'm at a point where I'm just sick and tired of reporting about this whole situation when it, when it comes to Blade. I really want good news. I really would like to see Blade on the big screen. Like, I love the first Blade. I just love how grounded it was. And that, look, that bloodbath sequence, you know, the big club sequence in the opening when we first get introduced to Blade, where it starts in his feet on the way up, when the guy from, um, you know, I forget his name, Kenny, I forget his last name, he's on SWAT, and he was also on The Shield. <laughs> How he was in the opening sequence of Tracy Lord basically brought him into the nightclub, the bloodbath, and then the blood comes down. That that scene is still iconic. I don't think anything could ever beat that sequence in the movie. That was like one of my all-time favorites. And I remember when I first saw that in the movies, the goosebumps that rushed over my body when I saw that part. And then we first meet Blade and he was fucking everybody up in that damn scene. As far as killing everybody, that was everything. And that's what I need in this whole Blade universe. And I really feel like if y'all gonna go with giving us a Blade movie, what I'm hoping is that y'all give us the same type of energy y'all giving with Deadpool and Wolverine that we can get with Blade when it comes out. Like, I need an R. I need an R rating. Also, what I'm thinking of, maybe there's... I'm trying to figure out why they're struggling, because remember, they said at one point Mia Goth is attached, and she might be playing Lilith. I actually like Mia Goth, and I would like to see what she possibly brings to the whole situation of, of this part. Then I also heard that Anthony Starr, who, you know, plays um, Homelander, but this was like years ago, but I don't know what happened with that. They said he was supposed to be cast as Dracula, but I think that was just a rumor and that never really like transpired to anything. And I haven't heard nothing since, but I did see that rumor floating around. They said this was back in 2020. So I like the idea of Mahershala Ali, but I'm not, I would not be surprised if he ends up being the next one and be like, you know what? Y'all taking too long. I'm literally in my 50s waiting to play this superhero. And I don't want to be ages on that because I feel like we could get like a, a guy. Look, first of all, Mahershala Ali is still, you know, black don't crack. He looks like he, you know, he, a badass. And if you really need somebody to go in and do like those crazy stunts, if you need him flipping and doing other stuff, y'all could do like, you know, there's some people that do that. You had people for that for Fall Guy. Um, Ryan Gosling wasn't doing all them crazy stunts and stuff in the movie. They had people stand-ins that, you know, he had, I think, like, five different stuntmen that were coming to do certain things. When there were certain stunts that Keanu Reeves couldn't do, he had his stunt double that would jump in, that would have to fall out of windows and do all this other crazy stuff. So you can get... And, and look, even Wesley Snipes had his own action stuntman that were coming to do certain things that they were, you know, they, for insurance purposes, he wasn't allowed to do. So I'm sure that he can handle as much action as he possibly can. But at this point, y'all are taking too long to get this movie up and running. I really love the Blade character. I really want to see what the MCU could bring to this and especially see Mahershala Ali in this. But if they, if it ends up being in a situation where he has to bow out, I don't know, this might be a controversial situation, but I'm thinking I would love to see Michael B. Jordan play Blade. I could definitely see him playing that character. Like he's muscular. But people probably won't even like that idea. So I want to know what y'all think. Like, who do y'all think would actually be a, if Mahershala Ali drops out, who would be a good person, a good replacement? Also, before we go to this topic, there was something that came up. And shout out to John Campia, because he brought this up on his show. So I have to give credit where it's due. So they were talking about a story about Jordan Peele having negotiations with the MCU on possibly directing a film. Some people thought it would be Ghost Rider. John Campia said he brought a blade, even though at the time, Jan Dimash was still attached. We had not heard anything about, you know, anything going on over there with Blade and the director dropping out. So John brought this up, and then he had me thinking. I was like, you know what? I don't know, for some reason, something started rattling in my gut that I was like, he would be perfect. I kind of hope that Jan would drop it. <laughs> There's no shade. I mean, I like Lovecraft Country. I was mad when, when they canceled over there at HBO. Just like I was mad when they canceled Watchmen. Because Regina King was everything on that damn show. So, um, and Yahya Abdul-Mateen, especially that full frontal. If, you know, I, you know what I'm saying. I think <laughs> the dick was dicking. The thing was thinging. But anyway, so... um. I was like, he would be perfect for that world because he knows horror. He was a producer on Monkey Man, which is a movie that I absolutely liked with Deb Patel. And I was like, I could definitely see Jordan Peele coming on board and directing the film. He definitely gives me like, he likes action movies. He knows horror. He's He's got that vibe. He could really bring something to it. And quiet as it's kept, I feel like he could help with the writing. Like to me, it gives me the same type of energy of excitement I got 
even though I'm slightly still disappointed with the whole Scream franchise where y'all brought Nev Campbell in and y'all brought in Kevin Williamson. And I was like, I'm still mad at y'all Spyglass, but because y'all brought in two people that I absolutely love their body of work, I'm like, well, damn, you got me. It's the same way I feel about this. And lo and behold, we hearing that Yon dropped out weeks ago. That's what they said in the story. So this is making me really think that, you know what, Jordan Peele might be in talks to come in and be a part of the Blade franchise. And I actually think that would be a good idea. But so this is what I ask you guys. What do you think of this whole Blade? So are y'all tired of this, you know, all this bad news that keeps coming out about Blade? I don't know what's going on over there with the production. Is there too many cooks in the kitchen? Like what's going on with the right? Why can't y'all get this, this mess together? Is it probably also because, you know what? They haven't really truly figured out how to introduce vampires in the world of the MCU. Because it seems like everything is connected. Like we got a little bit of that whole supernatural vibe and everything from uh the sequel to dr strange we got a little bit of supernaturalness from that but how are they planning on trying to introduce the world of vampires into the into the mcu so maybe they're they're still trying to figure out how they could do all this look i say go look at the comics figure out how y'all could just make this own standalone thing that's not connected with so many stuff so that maybe was hurting it too but i don't know i'm just at a point where i love blade and i want y'all to just figure out what the hell y'all doing I don't want this blade idea to go away, but unfortunately, I have a, I, I don't want to think that way, but I have a feeling like that's what's bound to happen because y'all can't seem to get it over there at the MC, get it together over there at the MCO. But look, though, they got the writer of Fantastic Four, co writer of Fantastic Four, taking a jab at the script. So hopefully, they can get it together. I hope that this movie makes its deadline, and I hope we get Blade, at, you know, in 2025. Because I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of this story down below.